hi guys welcome back to another video if you are a first time viewer thank you for um, choosing to view us and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for coming again um, prayerfully we all will receive a blessing at the end of this presentation if you have not already subscribed please subscribe by hitting the bell and also the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we put out a new video um, before we begin let's have a quick word of prayer father thank you so much for all your keeping care your tender mercies thank you for being our god thank you for claiming us thank you for your holy spirit that you have left behind to guide us and to teach us and to comfort us and as we gather together we thank you also for the technology and the opportunity to meet and, and um, sharpen each other we ask lord that whatever is said or done will be to the honor and the glory of your name in Jesus' name we beg and ask amen. amen and so guys we wanted to talk a little bit today about sorrows um, i'm sure it's something that we all can relate to and so um, we just wanted to spend a little bit of time on how the Lord expects us to um, appreciate our sorrows. And the, tr the reading we chose comes to us from Reflecting Christ, page um, 364, and I'll be reading paragraph 1 and 2. The title is, Christ Lifts Us Through Sorrows. Happy is the man whom God correcteth. He maketh sore and bindeth up. He wounded and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. And this is in reference to Job chapter 5 verse 17 and 19. The reading continues. When tribulation comes upon us, how many of us are like Jacob? Right? We think... It the hand of an enemy and in the darkness we wrestle blindly until our strength is spent and we find no comfort or deliverance to Jacob the divine touch at break of day revealed the one with whom he had been contending the angel of the covenant and weeping and helpless he fell upon the breast of the infinite love to receive the blessings for which his soul longed we also need to learn the trials mean sorry, we also need to learn that trials mean benefit and not to despise the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when we are rebuked of him. There endeth the reading of God's word. Yeah. And Carl's gonna um, expound on this a little bit more for us. Yes. Um, <clears throat> one of the the things that came out most to me out of the reading was mm -hmm. the um where yes let me get it thank you where it says that um the lord shall deliver us out of six troubles yes yeah in seven days shall no evil touch us so we're well familiar with that seven is god's perfect number mm -hmm. it's complete right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the six troubles that God is going to deliver us out of represent all the troubles that we have to go through that will make us perfect. In this lifetime. Right. In mm -hmm. this lifetime that mm -hmm. will make us um, perfect or get to that point where God considers us right. good. So in essence, trials, mm -hmm. sorrows are essential. Yes, sorrows are essential. Mm -hmm. And um, the just like how God created the week and you have six days mm -hmm. and the seventh one. Mm -hmm. Completed. The work is completed mm -hmm. at the seventh. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when the sixth one is over, that means the work is done. Mm -hmm. So God, in essence, God has a, um, he has a, a measured amount of trials for us. Right. And what he wants us to do is to endure. Right. And, and, and bear upon his grace. And then he'll step in at the end right. and say, it's finished. Right. You have been faithful. You have run your race, so on and so on. Right. Right. And, and this measuring doesn't necessarily mean that it's just six troubles. Right. Right. So six is a symbolic number. Mm -hmm. And it could be however much trouble that we have to go through mm -hmm. to, be, to be made perfect. Right. So um, right. that's what that is saying to us. Just like um, Jacob. 
yes. at that night of his wrestling. Right. right. Um, uh-huh. He thought that the trouble that he was going to was someone who was trying to kill him mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because he was in fear of his life at that point. Yes. So when he realized that the trouble that he was going through at that point mm-hmm. was to make him perfect. Right, right. And he realized that God had appointed the trouble for him mm-hmm. to be made for mm-hmm. him to be made perfect. Right. He grabbed on. Yes, when he realized what was And said, so, Lord, I will not yes. let go until you bless mm-hmm. me. So just like us, when we have to get to the point where we realize now that um when we're facing troubles, mm-hmm. these troubles come to make us strong. Mm-hmm. Gold is not purified by um, simple means. It has mm-hmm. to go through fire. Mm-hmm. We have to go through tests. We have to mm-hmm. have things removed from our characters right. that we're not um, sometimes um, unaware of. Right. So, even as, as yeah. even our weaknesses are shown christ shows us our weaknesses and our strength right. during our trials mm-hmm. so we are aware of it so we know what to work on what to ask for mm-hmm. and so on and even sometimes while we're in our perplexities and our sorrows and so on we travail before the lord asking him to lift up the burden right. but the lord is saying here instead of that instead mm-hmm. of asking him to lift the burden we should ask him for his grace to go through it knowing that he has a plan for us at the end of it all Yes, mm-hmm. and um, when it when it comes to um, our troubles, yes, you know, sometimes we even have to go through death. Yes, because sometimes death is what helps us to to realize mm-hmm. that you know I have to I have to do what's right. I have to make peace with mm-hmm. God. He brings us to death's door. Death's door for mm-hmm. us to realize it, just mm-hmm. like a thief on the cross. Right. And many of us have to um, have to really see death right in front of us mm-hmm. to realize that you know this is serious mm-hmm. and uh, you know it's it's no more time to play. So. Right. And um, even for us, not mm-hmm. to cut you, even for us that's left behind after our loved ones pass. Um, the Lord encourages us that um, he delights in the death of his saints. Right. So f- for him, death is not a loss. Right. Right. So sometimes he saves that person right. with death. Right. You know, like, that's like, something we also need to... Like the thief on the cross. Right. Where, you know, you, you yeah. think that he's, he's going he's gonna to be killed now because of his wrongdoings. Mm-hmm. But it was death that really um, woke. Mm-hmm that person up for him mm-hmm. to say, Lord, have mercy on me. Exactly. So, um, when these trials come, it could be sickness, mm-hmm. could be death, mm-hmm. it could be financial burdens, mm-hmm. it could be marital burdens, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Um, we have to see these things as purifying agents for our souls. Yes. I I have a little story. I remember Mm -hmm. when I was working, I had a patient. He told me this and it changed my life um, or the way I see death. Um, He was um, on hospice for about maybe six months. And by the time I got to him, he was at end stage. And, you know, during conversation, I said to him, you know, is there anything that you would share? No you know, with with those who are going to be left behind or your family members that are going to be left behind. Any regrets or anything like that? Because these are things that, you know, they train Mm -hmm. us to to, um, have in dialogue with patients. That there's if there's anything they have on their mind, you are the one that will Mm -hmm. lend a listening ear. And he said to me, you know, within these last six months that I knew I had to live, I, I, I didn't start to live until I started preparing to die. You know, mm-hmm. and so we have to start to look at death as something that's um, possible, and the Lord might save us even with death and our loved ones as mm-hmm. well. Instead of being afraid of it, we have to actually face the facts, right? That death to Christ is nothing at all. So He will give you death as a blessing. Mm-hmm. as well and a lot of us haven't seen that but right. he will bless us with death right and 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 if we start to you know kind of put that at the back of our brain that's what i got from this patient's story mm. 
knowing that I was gonna die, I lived the best six months of my life. And I lived it as if it was the last day and so on and so forth. So um, yeah, that's something we, uh, we really have to factor in and, mm -hmm. and not be afraid of. Right. Yeah. And there are many other examples like Nebuchadnezzar where um, yes. he, he had to leave his castle and go live with animals mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. him to realize that right. God is God. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he, he, he witnessed Daniel and the lions and he witnessed um, the, the, the fire furnace. Mm -hmm. That still did not convict him. Right, right. You know, <laughs> so right. even though he saw things that still did not convict him until it really came home mm -hmm. to him, and he was like, "Look at me, the king of the most powerful nation in the world, mm -hmm. living with animals and being comfortable." Right. This right. God is powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, guys, we're not going to go on much longer, but um, for the sake of time, we know everybody is busy. But I hope this was a blessing. And if it was to you, let us know in the comments. And as usual, uh, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. As usual, walk good. God bless. Bye.